I'm Margaret Brennan, and today on Face the Nation, the Supreme Court preserves access to an abortion pill for now, and a daring evacuation of U.S. government personnel out of the embattled country of Sudan. Overnight, the mission to get U.S. diplomats and other personnel out of Sudan was successful. But what about the hundreds more Americans still trapped there? We'll talk with Delaware Democrat Chris Coons. He's on the Africa subcommittee in the Senate. Then, the Supreme Court makes an emergency ruling to keep mifepristone accessible for abortion, but sends the case back to the lower courts. Is the fight over? We'll tell you what's next. And the politics of abortion within the Republican Party. Our Robert Costa sat down with former vice president and potential 2024 candidate Mike Pence. Will he enter the race and challenge the former president? Are you leaning in or are you leaning away from running? Well, I'm here in Iowa, Robert. <laughs> Plus, a series of deadly shooting errors. Firing first and asking questions later is taking its toll on a nation already anxious about gun violence. We'll talk with the mayor of Kansas City, Quentin Lucas, about the challenges he's facing running a blue city in a red state. Finally, an interview with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. He's back in power, but what's different now? It's all just ahead on Face the Nation.